Hi, welcome back to PR Tech Talk. STM have set a new standard on low-cost ARM microcontrollers with the STM32C0 family. This family was, if not mistaken, introduced in early 2023. And I have a hard time finding an, an alternative ARM MCU on the market that can compete with the offering from ST. There are some RISC V that also are quite low cost. The EEV blog have done some videos on these. But then if you also think about the software offering that ST is providing for free. The STM32 Cube IDE, fully featured IDE, with no restrictions on the compiler. Uh, the STM32 Cube MX for the easy configuring of your device the STM32 Cube programmer and the STM32 Cube monitor. And not to forget all the middleware software and the portability, portability to several autos like Free Autos and Azure. And you can also now have a VS Code for now there is support for this one as well. If you think of all this software that you give for free, then I think it's a no brainer to continue with ST microcontrollers. For $0.24 or $24 in a 10K volume for an STM32C011J4, uh, this is a Cortex-M0 device with a 16K kilobyte flash and I would say you get a lot of value for your money. The STM32C0 family is built to run on a single voltage from 2.0 to 3.6 volts with only one supply pair which is a great improvement from the older STM32 families that could require several supply pair and by then uh, not using all the pins for your GPIOs. The C0 also have a 1% clock that you can run on the MCU without spending any pins for external crystals. Despite being an entry MCU, you have DMA, you have SPI, I2C, uh, several UARTs, I think it's two. You have a 12-bit or two 12-bit ADCs uh, and safety features. So it's a Cortex M0 Plus with uh, runs up to 48 megahertz and uh, you have, as I said before, 16 kilobyte of flash and 60, 6K of RAM. The temperature range in the family can go from min minus 40 degrees Celsius up to plus 125 degrees Celsius. And uh, the smallest device you can get in the family is a wafer level ship scale package in 1.7 by 1.42 millimeters. That is quite narrow. Uh, don't use that if you not need to because uh, it's very hard to make the layout on that one. And it also drives the cost on the PCB. The lowest cost device is in an 8 pin SOIC. There are several and par several of the part numbers in the STM32C0 family, as we can see here, and more are coming. And if, you re if your application requires more than the SC0 can provide, then you can easily change to the STM32G0 family uh, that are continuing on the roadmap and where there are actually some parts that are pin compatible. Here on this slide we can see some similarity between the C0 and the G0. So the C0 runs on 48 MHz maximum and the G0 can clock up to 64 MHz. The G0 goes down to 1.7 volt, but the C0 requires 2.0 volts to, uh, to run. Uh, temperature range are the same. You can get both in uh, minus 40 to plus 125 degrees Celsius. And in the package, you can see the C0 goes from 8 pin up to 48 pins, and the G0 goes from 8 pin up to 100 pin. When it comes to development tools, these are the ones that uh, are available for the C0 family. You have the nuclear board. Uh, that I have shown in uh, uh, different videos before and it's based on the C031 and the difference between the 11 and the 31 is the amount of RAM you have on board else it's uh, the same and the price then of course. 
And then you also have the discovery kit, which I haven't uh, had the chance to get my hands on yet. Uh, and uh, then there is the discovery kit for both the C031 and the C011. The C0 is not designed for low power application. It's actually a general purpose microcontroller, but uh, despite this, there is excellent uh, power consumption on it. You have in a shutdown mode 20 nanoamps and you can wake up from several resources like the reset pin and, and some of the IOs. And the wake up is then like 385 microseconds to wake up. Uh, you have then also the standby and the stop mode and uh, if you take a look on the run mode uh, you can draw maximum 48 megahertz on this one and it consumes 80 microamps per megahertz. Hope you found the C0 family interesting and uh, are eager to start development on them. Uh, there are more uh, families coming in the future and uh, I will look into them when the time is coming. So if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider to do so and give it a thumbs up if you learned something and if you like the content of this video. And if you would like to have a notification on when I release a new video, just hit the bell icon as well. Hope to see you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.